All right, we're gonna walk through how to use ThorSwap using only your Ledger hardware wallet. So this will allow you to swap between different chains or add to liquidity pools without using any sort of centralized custodian or a hot wallet, only your Ledger hardware wallet. So first we can go up to connect and connect Ledger and we'll see that these are the chains that we can directly connect our Ledger hardware wallet with. But real quick, first I'll show you something on the swap page. Uh, in this example, we'll be swapping native Bitcoin to native Litecoin. Now, typically we can just connect multiple wallets on either end to use ThorSwap. In the ledger to ledger example, you can't have two apps open at the same time. So we're actually just going to connect what we are sending from and then manually enter our receiving address on this side. And these steps would be the same with any of the tokens, whether I was sending Litecoin to Doge or BNB to Rune, the steps would be the same. So because in this example, I'm sending from Bitcoin, I am going to connect my Bitcoin Ledger wallet address. So first I have my Ledger connected to my computer. I've entered my pin and unlocked it. And I have the Bitcoin app opened on the device. And then I'm going to go to connect and click connect Ledger got BTC selected and I will connect. Now I can see up in my wallet that, yep, I am connected and I've got a bit of Bitcoin here ready to go. So now let's say I want to swap this much Bitcoin to Litecoin and here I don't have a wallet connected on the other side, but I can enter a recipient address. So I'm going to edit this field and paste my Litecoin ledger address. If you need to get this address, you can either get it from Ledger Live or you can connect your Litecoin address first and then copy it here. Just make sure that in this case, again, because you'll be sending from Bitcoin, you're going to need to sign the Bitcoin transaction. So you'll have to have the Bitcoin app opened and connected. So now the swap is ready to go. So let's confirm and we'll see it pending. And my Ledger is asking me to sign it. So I'm accepting that transaction. And we can see the transaction processing here. I can go track this if I want to, and it'll show me when the Litecoin has been received. And the time will just depend on these native blockchains. So Bitcoin is a little bit slow, so we'll give it a few minutes to confirm. Okay, so we can see it's received and my Litecoin address is not currently connected. So I'm going to open the Litecoin app on my ledger and then connect another wallet connect ledger and now we'll connect litecoin and we can see in my wallet the litecoin has been received so now let's do a deposit to a liquidity pool using only the ledger we will add this litecoin just from the litecoin side to the litecoin rune liquidity pool so we can head over to deposit and we'll be adding this litecoin and we're just going to add from the Litecoin side in this example. All three options end up being 50-50 exposure to Litecoin and Rune, but we can add from 50-50 or just Litecoin or just Rune, but they all end up as 50-50 exposure. If I'm adding from just Litecoin though, I only have to sign the Litecoin transaction. And then when I eventually go to withdraw, everything is converted back to Litecoin and withdrawn out as Litecoin. So let's just add say about $100 of Litecoin to this pool, and we'll click Add Liquidity. And again, I have the Litecoin app open on my ledger, and then I'll click Confirm. So the transaction is being sent to my ledger to approve it. And then we'll just wait for that to process as it's adding to the pool. All right, our Litecoin has been added to the pool, and we can check on our position over at liquidity, we can see our pool share. We can click here to see our position stats on thoryield.com. And for the sake of the example, let's say some time has passed and we're ready to withdraw this back into just Litecoin. We would just withdraw. And let's say we want to withdraw all of it. The fee is going to be in the same token, so we don't need anything else. And we'll just click withdraw. And again, the transaction is being pushed to my connected ledger with the Litecoin address opened. So I'll sign those transactions. All right, and that's gone through. So our native Litecoin is now back on our ledger wallet.
So now we've done a ledger to ledger swap and then added to the Litecoin Ruin liquidity pool, all signed only from our ledger and then withdrew back to the ledger. So that is how you can use ThorSwap using only your ledger hardware wallet.